Welcome back into the Toyota Soccer Center. The U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships doesn't get much better than this, right, folks? We're into the penalty kick shootout here between Michigan and FC Dallas. So up first is going to be Michigan going up against the goalkeeper from the University of Central Arkansas, Trevor Jackson. Again, you have just joining us, uh, Michigan in the white uniforms. And first up for Michigan will be Antonio Rizzo. A very early goal in the uh, first minute of our second overtime by Michigan. FC Dallas with a goal in the last minute of the second overtime. Best of five in the penalty kicks. Again, in goal, Jackson. Trevor Jackson against Rizzo. And the referee not quite ready yet, so hold on, everybody. Go ahead, unbuckle your seatbelt, relax a little bit. We're not ready for the drive just yet. <laughs> All right, I think everybody's on the same page now. One of these teams on the brink of elimination is going to come down to the penalty kicks, a chance at the championship. Contest is on the line. Baltimore Celtic, the opponent. We know that tomorrow, 10 o'clock. But... This one's still to be determined here. Rizzo, he's ready to go against Trevor Jackson. Rizzo fires. He's got it in. Jackson went the right way, but it still got past him. And it's 1-0 Michigan with FC Dallas attempting for the first time. Luke McDonald in goal. Michigan had its opener where they gave up a lot of goals, but since then they've been solid. And so here we go, FC Dallas. Rodriguez, Rodriguez. Did he go ahead of the whistle there? Yep, I won't count that one. Sorry, not Rodriguez, but uh, Marcos Puega. Three and the one I could not see there. So Michigan able to get their first one home. And this time Puega does await the whistle. He lets it go in, right past a diving McDonald who chose the wrong way. And it's one all after one penalty kick. Callum is going to attempt this one, Ashmore. He gave me the opportunity to pick which goal I wanted to see the penalty kicks at. Difficult to read the jersey numbers on the back as they walk up at this angle. How about the goalkeeper, Trevor Jackson, all the way out there now backpedaling. <laughs> Mentioned it earlier, the tallest goalkeeper we've seen, at least here on field four, that gives him a little bit of an advantage there. Ashmore fires, deflected and in! Deflected off of Jackson, off the top of the crossbar and down. Two to one, Michigan in the best of five penalty kick shootout. After it was two to two after overtime. Jackson visibly frustrated with himself there. He had the stop, just couldn't quite get a clean hand on it to knock it down or away. So here is David Ortiz needing this goal to tie it back up at 2-1. Two. Two Michigan leads FC Dallas in the penalty kick shootout. This is the captain for FC Dallas. He fires and he's got it to go. That one also off of McDonald and in. Boy, a miss now is crucial. Tied at two after two. Big crowd on hand here for this one, lining the sidelines. Micah Sonnenberg's turn.
Talked a lot about the weather throughout this one and this team out of Michigan having to play through this. Several of their players have played every minute of the tournament. 78 degrees back home for them. And this FC Dallas team used to the heat. Which side's going to fire it up here? Sonnenberg, 2-2. Two to two. The third penalty kick attempt. Got it. Leaning the wrong way was Jackson. And basically an open net there for Michigan to make it 3-2. Baltimore Celtic had the luxury of playing on a field that did not have overtime before them. So they've uh, been done for a couple of hours now. And not only did we have overtime in our 7 a.m. contest, this one started about 9.45, but well past the overtime now. 3-2 Michigan leads FC Dallas in the penalty kick stage. Looking to tie it up, FC Dallas fires and it's in. Another one goes home down as uh, Carlos Santa Maria pushes one through and ties it at three. So here is an extremely important kick for Michigan. Tied at three. And it's going to come from Alexander Delu. Delu plays his college soccer at Western Michigan University. Michigan and FC Dallas 3 all on the penalty kicks. Delu against Trevor Jackson. Delu to the ball, shoots, scores! He got it to go! Oh my, four to three, nobody has missed yet. Jackson just can't believe it. And good sportsmanship. McDonald on his way in net, high fives Jackson along the way out. So if that one a moment ago was important for Michigan, how about this one, FC Dallas? Their fourth attempt, it made the previous three. Can McDonald choose right? Here comes the kick. It goes past him even though he went the right way, and that makes it for all. Orlando Castro that time. How about this? Stepping out of the goal for the penalty kick opportunity, Luke McDonald. You know these guys love this moment. They never get to score. McDonald, goalkeeper against goalkeeper. It's for all, Michigan. That one goes in for McDonald and it makes it 5-4. Jackson's yet to stop one. You've got a certain amount of pressure on you when you're the team that goes first, but oh, the pressure now on the home team, FC Dallas. You've got to make it to keep going. It's up to Joseph Nelson to keep the crowd entertained at least for one more kick. Will it end here? 5-4 Michigan with the lead on FC Dallas. We've had the whistle. Nelson takes his time. Here comes Joseph Nelson, and it's good. We're all tied at five still. After the make by Nelson, giving his goalkeeper a little bit of a pep talk. Nick Palafox will have the kick now for Michigan, five all. I think they were waiting on Joseph Nelson to get back near the midway line. He, had a bit of a conversation for his goalkeeper, then kind of slowly made his way back that direction. A couple of FC Dallas players not watching. Everybody from Michigan lined up along the line. 
Palafox, we're tied at five. He's wanting clarification on if he can move the ball, and he does so. Jackson right in the middle of the goal. Palafox delivers! 6-5. Come down to this again for FC Dallas, perhaps. Luke McDonald back in goal. Awfully quiet right now. Premier will go to Cruz, Fabian Cruz. Needs to put it in the back of the net to keep going. This team down 6-5, the sixth penalty kick. There's the whistle. Cruz approaching the ball. Will fire, and that one goes through as well. McDonald just couldn't quite stop it. He leaned the wrong way just long enough. FC Dallas has been on the defensive here in the penalty kicks as Michigan has made each of their first six attempts. Can Jackson get a stop? Jeremy Cohen has the opportunity now for Michigan. And our referee is going to slow things down here a bit. Quite sure what this discussion is all about here. All right, so I think after all that, they're now ready to go. Michigan Jaguars and the FC Dallas Premier. It's up to Jeremy Cohen for Michigan. Seventh penalty kick. We're tied at six here. Jackson in net, and Jackson makes a stop. The University of Central Arkansas goalkeeper and FC Dallas Premier goalkeeper makes the first penalty kick stop. Cohen couldn't get it past him. And now with FC Dallas standing on their heels, much of the penalty kick can lean forward a little bit, a chance to win it. How about this approach all the way outside the box? Ricky Greenwich not seen just a whole lot of action in this one. Here comes Greenwich for the win. He got it. FC Dallas is moving on. 